Once we got the label placed out there, there are other types of tools that also contain the annotation scale toggle that we see here, the lock toggle. That's typically contained within the tool settings for whatever command you are working with if, in fact, that tool supports it. So we see here that it is with the basic text tool. Take notice that it's also contained within your place note command in MicroStation or the place label tool. If we come in and select the dimensioning tool, it's supported there as well. Here I have the linear dimensioning tool selected. Observe the toggle here as well. I'll select the millimeter dimension, dimension style. So I'm going to just place a dimension in the hallway. And as such, I'll do a quick overview of the Dimension Styles dialog. So when we open up the Dimension Styles dialog, you'll notice the listing of all the available text styles over on the left. Very much like the Text Styles dialog, the Dimension Styles dialog has five tabs as well. And they are starting with the Geometry tab. In the Geometry tab, it controls the geometry for the different components of your actual dimensions. For instance, if you want to enable the extension lines and then the settings for the offset and extension. Here's where you can determine the different types of terminators and the values for those. The next tab is the units tab. So here you can use the units of the design file or you can have your own specific settings for units that will display. You can have primary and secondary units displayed. The third tab is the text tab. So you can use any one of the available text styles or you can set up the style of the text within this dialog under this tab. The symbology tab is broken down into the four components that make up a dimension. So here you can set the symbology such as the color, the style, the weight for each of the different four components. And very much like the text styles, your dimension styles has a fifth tab called advanced. And the advanced tab combines all the settings of the previous four tabs and then with some additional settings. And when we say additional settings, you can get into tool specific settings. And that is a quick overview of the Dimension Styles dialog. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.